And then uh, security awareness training is educating uh, because obviously uh, you heard about social engineering, uh, we heard about phishing, we talk about malware. It, you need to keep employees and yourself educated on uh, what to do, what not to do. Don't click on links, make sure that the email address matches. Um, if you're using financial transaction, <laughs> phone and call the person and confirm the bank account that you're transferring to. Um, I've seen, I've had uh, a client that received emails with the try to uh, basically spoof, uh, pretend it was them, send an email and a PO and basically have somebody send money to the other place. And if, if the person haven't called to confirm, did you change your bank account, that that would have gone through. So just kind of have uh, policies and procedures and then education about those policies and procedures on how to, to do stuff securely. Um, and then push this a lot is backup, 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 backup. Um, if something happens, the only way to get it back is if you have a good backup. And then what you, you hear a lot is the three, two, one backup rule, which hopefully a lot of you have heard. Uh, but basically, basics of it is that you want to have three copies of your data. One of them could be the one that you're normally using, but then you want two more copies on different media, meaning you have one on your hard drive, then you want it on other places, and you want one of them to be offline, and mostly these days is cloud. Uh, so basically, you have the backup that's a second copy and, and a cloud version that's separately. And the reason for that is when you when you uh, backup, if you have a USB drive that you're backing up to, which is your basic way that a lot of small businesses do, you plug a USB drive and you back up your files to it, or you just save a copy, or you drag it them over. Um, if that's connected to your computer all the time, if something infects your computer, it's gonna infect that USB drive as well, and now your backup is gone. So at the minimum, I have people who do rotation of USB drives, and that's kind of some basic, but you can also get um, cloud backup that goes to the cloud, and the key there is that you want to make sure that there's you're not dealing with only the, the latest version, that you have some version control in there that you're keeping data more than a couple of days. Uh, because with breaches, you see a lot of, of them stay in the computer, they stay in there for several weeks, if not several months. They look to what you do, they encrypt your data, they try to disable your backups. So it's, it's make sure you do backups, make sure that you test them occasionally, um, look through them, make sure that you are able to retrieve the data and your drive, your backup drives are not corrupted. Um, 